What I think is exceptional about what happened today is the fact that there appears to be coordination between the Houthis and the Saudis in the release of the Houthi peace proposal and also, of course, the announcement of this ceasefire. However, I would say that with regards to the Houthi peace proposal, there's really nothing new in, uh, in that proposal. It's mainly Houthi talking points about ending the coalition blockade, ending the coalition bombing of Yemen. And of course, as the Houthis um, issue this peace proposal, there are reports that they are shelling Marib. And of course, that's a continuation of the fighting that we've seen in Marib and Al Jof in recent months. So I think the question that remains right now is, what's going to happen after the, this two-week ceasefire. Of course, the hope is that the Houthis and the Saudis and possibly the Hadi government, of course, would come to the negotiating table. I think that the Houthis are willing to come to the negotiating table, but I think that it's very unlikely that they're going to make any significant concessions. They simply just have too much influence on the ground. They have too much power. And there's really no leverage uh, by opposing parties to pressure them one way or another.